What specific problem does your proposed method aim to solve in the context of large language models, LLMs, and how does it relate to existing safety measures? Our proposed method aims to address the inadequacies of existing unlearning techniques in large language models, LLMs, by providing a robust evaluation framework that quantifies the extent to which harmful knowledge is removed from model weights. Current safety measures, such as reinforcement learning with human feedback, RLHF, primarily focus on refusal to engage in dangerous activities, but are vulnerable to jailbreaks and other attacks. Additionally, existing unlearning methods often only hide information rather than remove it, as evidenced by our findings that recovery rates after applying unlearning techniques remain high, greater than 88%. Our framework introduces a novel approach using retraining on TRTT to assess the effectiveness of unlearning methods against attacks that attempt to recover hidden knowledge, thereby setting a higher bar for evaluating unlearning efficacy. This work emphasizes the need for clear distinctions between merely making information harder to access versus completely removing it, ultimately contributing to safer AI model development. How does the proposed method or algorithm work? Illustrate step-by-step -step the process of unlearning as presented in your framework, including any unique components you introduced that differentiate it from existing approaches. The proposed method for unlearning in large language models, LLMs, involves a systematic framework that evaluates the effectiveness of unlearning techniques by measuring the extent to which harmful knowledge is removed from the model weights. First, the developers identify a set of independent facts that should be removed, splitting them into training T and validation V subsets. The unlearning process is then executed using various techniques, such as gradient ascent and representation misdirection for unlearning RMU, which aim to reduce the model's accuracy on the facts in T while maintaining performance on unrelated tasks. After unlearning, the retraining on TRTT attack is performed where the model is fine-tuned on T to assess if it can recover accuracy on V. A high recovery rate indicates that the information was hidden rather than removed. This framework uniquely emphasizes measuring mutual information between the model weights and the facts, providing a more robust evaluation of unlearning effectiveness compared to previous output-based methods. Can you provide a simple yet illustrative example, akin to the World Health Organization example in your paper, explaining how the mutual information concept is utilized in your unlearning evaluation? How does this example clarify the effectiveness of your proposed method? In our paper, we illustrate the concept of mutual information using the example of whether the World Health Organization, WHO, was founded in 1948 or 1949. We define that an unlearning process successfully removes information about this question if the mutual information between the model weights after unlearning and the answer to the question is zero, denoted as IU theta, Y equals zero. This means that if the model's weights are altered by the unlearning process, they should not predictably differ based on the answer to the question, indicating that the specific knowledge has been effectively removed. By applying this framework, we can quantify how much knowledge remains in the model weights after unlearning, as evidenced by the ability to recover answers to the question through attacks like retraining on T, RTT. This example clarifies the effectiveness of our proposed method by demonstrating that if the model can still accurately answer the question post-unlearning, it suggests that the information was hidden rather than removed highlighting the limitations of current unlearning techniques. What are the theoretical or practical benefits of using your evaluation framework for unlearning methods compared to output-based evaluations? Specifically, discuss enhancements in terms of accuracy, safety assurance, and generalizability provided by your approach. The evaluation framework we propose for unlearning methods offers significant theoretical and practical benefits over traditional output-based evaluations. Firstly, our framework quantifies the extent to which harmful knowledge is removed from model weights, rather than merely assessing the model's output similarity to unlearned information, which can be misleading. This leads to enhanced safety assurance, 
as it directly addresses the vulnerabilities of unlearning methods to jailbreak attacks, demonstrating that harmful information can still be recovered even when output performance appears satisfactory. Additionally, our approach allows for the evaluation of unlearning techniques across various datasets and formats, improving generalizability by ensuring that the unlearning process is effective regardless of the specific context or data structure. Ultimately, our framework sets a higher standard for evaluating unlearning methods, providing a more robust measure of their effectiveness in ensuring the safety of large language models. How is the effectiveness of your method validated or tested? Explain the experimental design, datasets used, and metrics for performance that demonstrate the reliability of your framework in assessing unlearning methods. The effectiveness of our method is validated through a structured experimental design that employs a framework for evaluating unlearning methods. We created several datasets, including years, MMLU, WMDP deduped and random birthdays, ensuring they have minimal shared information among facts and that models perform well on them before unlearning. The primary metric for performance is the recovery rate, which measures the ratio of accuracy on a validation set, V, of the unlearned model after retraining on T, RTT, to the accuracy of the original model after RTT. A lower recovery rate indicates more successful information removal, and our results show that all tested unlearning methods had recovery rates greater than 88%, suggesting that most information was hidden rather than removed. Additionally, we performed RTT using multiple learning rates and evaluated the impact of different unlearning strengths on retain accuracy, confirming that our framework reliably assesses the effectiveness of unlearning techniques. What specific results did you achieve by applying your unlearning evaluation framework to common unlearning methods such as gradient ascent and RMU? How do these results inform the limitations or areas for improvement of your approach? By applying our unlearning evaluation framework to common unlearning methods like gradient ascent, GD, and representation misdirection for unlearning, RMU, we found that both methods successfully reduced accuracy after unlearning, but the recovery rate remained greater than 88% for all methods evaluated. This indicates that while these methods can hide information, they do not effectively remove it from the model weights, as RTT was able to recover accuracy close to its original level. The results suggest that the unlearning techniques are more about making information harder to access rather than completely removing it, highlighting a significant limitation in their effectiveness. Additionally, our findings imply that the retain loss may not be the primary factor restricting the unlearning methods, as RTT could recover accuracy even with substantial losses in retain accuracy. This points to a need for further refinement of unlearning techniques to ensure that they achieve true information removal rather than mere obfuscation.